Eastern time. Okay, guys. So, um, today we are going to talk about the Apple Watch event that happened on March 9th, which is today, depending on when you're watching the video. But today it was March 9th. The event occurred at 10 a.m. Pacific time and 9 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m., 1 p.m. Eastern time, and 7 p.m. other times, 7 p.m. in Israel, because I know that because I was, I live in, I lived in Israel before, I haven't ever actually told you what country I actually lived in other places, so, um, so what occurred today was they announced the new Apple Watch. Not the new, they already announced it in the September event, but now they announced um, even more when it's actually going to be able to preview in the Apple retail stores and when you can actually buy it. So um, let's get started by looking at some of the slides here. Okay, so. They announced the Apple Watch Sports, which is the cheapest, and they announced the Apple Watch, Apple Watch, and then they announced the Apple Watch Edition, which is the most expensive. Okay, so other than that, they also announced the new MacBook Air, the new MacBook. We don't call it MacBook Air anymore, and um, that will be. From one thousand two hundred ninety-nine dollars, but you can't still buy it yet. So let me go to Mac. I'm trying to watch the preview, the replay of the the keynote because I was at school when it happened. But no, it's okay. So the new MacBook. See, so it says MacBook, MacBook Air. This is a twelve-inch, twelve-inch. Um. Both models are 12 inch. You can configure it to. The most expensive one will be $1,599. Or I think more expensive. Because you can config configure it to 1.3 gigahertz instead of 1.2, which is the best so far. Um, so the new MacBook provides, as I just told you, a 12 inch um, retina display. It comes in. Three colors, black, space gray, I mean, um, other than space gray, it is silver, like normal, and gold. Now, right now, I'm debating, what I'm going to buy this thing, and I'm debating whether I should get the gold or the space gray. I kind of decided it's going to be gold, but, you know. Here, so this is gold, and, and the charger is the new USB 3.1 or Type C. Um, it's pretty cool, actually. So that's basically how you're gonna transfer data, putting in a USB port. Because if you saw, I'm gonna show you. So I um, went and looked at the 3D, the 360, and on the sides there are no USB ports other than the USB 3.1, which is also the charger. Right there, where the mouse is, I'm clicking. So I'm going to um, show you how much it costs, as well as how much the price will be for the Apple Watch. This will probably come out, the MacBook will come before the Apple Watch. But Well, it's cooler for me because I'm actually going to buy it. Because I'm not really going to buy the... Um, the Apple Watch because I'm going to get the Pebble Time from Kickstarter. Oh, there's also a new update for the iPhone because of the Apple Watch. Uh, iOS 8.2. That's actually the only real thing different. It says that the Apple Watch can provide you the Apple app, the Apple Watch app. So here are the colors, silver, which is normal, but now it has only black borders. Right now I'm with a MacBook Air and it has silver borders, so it can't talk. So 
Now it can. Now it's a black border, a black glossy border instead of a silver matte finish instead as the border of the screen. So it also comes. So it comes in silver, which is the normal color that always comes with Macs. Basically every Mac. I don't know why I skipped to space gray. This is the space gray, like the I the back of the iPhone 5s. Wish I could show you, but I can't. And it looks also like the back of the iPhone 6 and gold. Yeah, so now the coolest thing about the gold thing, the black border and the gold itself, so the black border and the gold look absolutely amazing. If they make an iPad with a black with a gold back and a black screen, I'm gonna buy that. Totally. Okay, so when you go down, you can see the prices. I'm gonna buy this, but you can also configure it to 1.3 dual core instead. And it comes with 512 gigabytes of PCLE based, based onboard flash storage and 8 gigabytes of memory. I don't know if this is where you're storing all your stuff, or this is or you're storing all your stuff in the 8 gigabytes now, or the 512 gigabytes of storage. So, um, it comes with 8 Intel HD graphics, 5300. 5, it's probably new. comes with a 1.2 gigahertz dual core Intel Core processor. Intel Core M processor. Turbo boost up to 2.6 gigahertz, but you can configure it to 1.3 gigahertz dual core. And, yeah, so this is the thing I'm gonna buy, and I'm gonna configure it to 1.3 instead of 1.2. And the summary. This is basically the summary. 12 inch MacBook, 512 gigabytes gold. Unfortunately, you can't buy it right now. But, oh, no. I'm going to look for the Mac that's right for you. Okay, so now they added the MacBook to the notebook line, so you can also see a comparison between that. As you can see, this is a 12 inch, 11 inch, 12 inch, 11 inch, 13 inch, 13 inch, 13 inch, and 15 inch. Because basically, you can do that. So, the cheapest one right now is the MacBook Air, 11 inch and 13 inch, because it's from $899 up. And the MacBook is from $1,299. I was actually thinking about getting the MacBook Pro with Retina Display 15 inch, but now that the new MacBook came out, that's what I'm going to say for that instead. If you hear any noises, it's not that. But don't mind them text messaging, people are text messaging. So you can get the MacBook, the new Mac for $1,299, and then like I told you, $899 for the MacBook Air 11 inch, from $999 for the MacBook Air 13 inch, $1,099 MacBook Pro 13 inch with no retina display, MacBook on $1,299, the same start price from the MacBook for the retina display, um, MacBook Pro 13 inch and the Mac the expensive most expensive one. The 15 inch written display MacBook Pro comes at from $1,999. So the display for the MacBook, the new one, is 12 inches. The first 12 inch MacBook. It comes in actually a very big pixel density for such a small screen. 2304 by 104. 1440 pixels. That's close to four to quad HD. Um, I read somewhere. Let me check where I did read that, but I'm not sure where I read that because I did read it. I think it was in the Apple Store um, app. I read that um, it's supposed to come with. 381 pixels per inch, I'm not sure. I was reading, oh. 
Ja, aber so schön. It has up to 9 hours of battery life. You're going to see that in a second. It comes with OS X built in. It comes with iPhoto, iMovie, GarageBand, Pages, Numbers, Keynote, Safari, Mail, Messages, FaceTime, Calendar, Contacts, Mac App Store, iTunes, iBooks, Maps, Photo Booth, and Time Machine. Well, I can't see, but I did see that um, it's like 144 inches. I'm not sure. Let me check. Tech specs. Like, tell me the tech specs. So the resolution is 226 pixels per inch with the support of a vermilion of colors. So it has a 16-10 aspect ratio. That's a good. Okay. And then the, oh, the MacBook Air 11 inch has an 11.6 diagonal. LED backlit wide screen display instead of a retina display on the new MacBook. It comes at 1366 by 768 pixels per inch diagonally. Um, 14, the 13.3, same type of screen, just 13.3 inches, 1440 by 900 pixels. And the old the non retina 13.3 MacBook Pro comes in at 100, 1280 by 800 pixels. The retina display 13.3 inch MacBook Pro comes at 250, 2560 by 1600 1, pixels. And the 15.4 inch one retina display MacBook Pro comes at 2880 by 1800 pixels. You can all read that. I'm just like saying that if you don't if you don't want to see so I'm not gonna read you the size and weight because there's really no point and um so now the finish this is something new the finish right there so now this finish the new MacBook is the only one to come with three colors silver gold space gray the other one just come in all silver which is a big deal actually to tell you the truth I'm we're lucky I'm actually lucky that I waited to buy a MacBook after this so the specifications the new MacBook can come at 1.1 gigahertz 1.2 gigahertz 1.3 gigahertz that's what I told you with the core M processor it comes with 8 gigabytes of memory like I already told you I'm not gonna read that because I already told you now the old, the old MacBook Air comes out with 11.6 inches. It comes with 1.6 dual core Intel Core i5, which is I believe slower than the Core M processor because they wouldn't put a smaller processor in a newer device, in a better one. Or 2.2 gigahertz dual core Intel Core i7 processor, which is still slower than I believe the Core M processor. And the same, then it has come from 4 gigabytes or 8 gigabytes of memory. They have a choice there. So, and the 13.3 inch one has the same types of specs. And now the... I'm not going to read it, I'm just going to click on it. This is better, to, is better than the new MacBook. And then this is still the same type of memory, but you still have a choice. And now here, this is something different from the rest. It comes up to one, up to one terabyte of 504,000 RPM hard drive or to 512 solid state drive. It has worse graphics, Intel Gra HD Graphics 400. Now, the MacBook, the Retina display, 13.3 inch one comes with two, you can choose 2.7 or 2.9 Core i5 or 3.1 dual core Intel Core i7 processor with 8 gigabytes of the option of 8 gigabytes or 16 gigabytes of memory and up to 1 terabyte of flash storage and Intel Iris graphics 6100 6, and then 
not the same types of specs because you can get a better one, a dual core 3.1 gigahertz instead on the 13.3 inch one, but here you get all quad core in instead, so that's faster Core i7 processors. And then 16, you don't have an option of 8 gigs or 16, you just have to go with 16 up to 1 terabyte of flash, and you can upgrade it to even better flash storage. So I'm not gonna read the battery, but the integrate the because in the Mac the new MacBook they changed it, so now the battery is bigger, but something different. You only need a 29 watt USB Type C or 3.1 power adapter because the USB Type C or 3.1 is a lot faster. As you can see, 29 watts and it's actually one of the biggest batteries in here. And the 95, the 15.6 inches, comes with integrated, 80, you need 85 watts of MagSafe 2 power adapter. So, yeah. Um, no, I'm not going for that. That's too much power. So, um, the, it comes with a USB-C port, power port, which is the newest. I hope that most the other Macs when in the October 2015 event will come will have the same type of port. Unfortunately, it's still the same nine hours of battery of wireless web. Although it's better than the eight hours of wireless on the 15.6 inches MacBook Retina book. Pro Retina, so that's, I never knew that actually. The best battery life comes with the 13.3 inches normal MacBook Air. That's actually cool. So you get, on the new MacBook, you get up to 10 hours of iTunes movie playback. And you get Actually, very good. So now this is the other features that I'm not happy with in the new MacBook. Instead of USB ports, you get a USB-C port instead of two USB-3 ports on every other Mac. Now, none of the Macs other than the 13.3 inch MacBook Pro with not non-Retina comes with a FireWire 800 port, probably nobody uses anymore. The new MacBook does not come with a Thunderbolt 2 port, so that means I can't buy a uh, display for it. It does come with 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, still the same. Comes with Bluetooth 4.0 wireless. It does not come with Gigabit Ethernet. It comes with a FaceTime camera, not HD. That's weird. Comes with a full size. Um, back of the keyboard, and now it comes with a new Force Touch trackpad. It's now come with an SDXC slot card slot. With an external USB super drive, it, it requires an adapter, and it's sold separately. It requires an adapter because there's no USB here, so there's no. Yeah. And now you have the same types of apps on everything. So that's good for the MacBook. You can see that it's not that good because it's 12 inch and it's very thin. So it's not that good, but it's still a very good computer. Now let's go to the watch. You'll like this. I'm, I'm sorry that this is a long video and you might be getting bored. If you're getting bored, please comment down why you are getting bored. And for next time. Okay, let's go to the shop watch. My dad will probably pre order it. Okay. On the same day that you can pre order it.
yeah, you can also preview it, so you can pre-order it in the retail store while you're previewing it in the retail store. So this is too far down. Okay, so now it comes with an Apple Watch Sport, which is the cheapest one. Apple Watch and the Apple Watch Edition, which is the most expensive one. I'm going to go through the prices quickly, and that's it. So the sports one comes with silver, 48 millimeters with other types of bands, or space gray, 30, 38 or 42 millimeter. But you can only buy it with a black band and you have to buy extra. So this is the 38 silver aluminum case with white sport band, that's 349. Every 38 millimeters watch costs 349. The 42 millimeter costs 399. So if I buy an Apple Watch, I will buy a 38 millimeter one. So yeah, you see the other colors. Now I'm gonna go to Space Gray because it's something really different thing. So now the Space Gray, which is right here, comes with 38 millimeter Space Gray aluminum case with a black sport band. You can't buy any other sport band with it unless you buy it separately. And then there's also the 42 millimeter Space Gray aluminum case with black sport band option. To tell the truth, I would get either this or this, depending on what I like, but let me just choose the 42mm space gray in case with black sport band instead. Just to look at. Okay. So now it you can see the sizing guy and you can like it. Now something new you can like it. On top, which is like right here, let me show you. So you see this heart, I'm gonna click on it, and now it's my favorite, so that one it's available to buy. When when you're available, when you buy it, it can be it's gonna be right there, you're gonna see it because it's gonna be in your favorites. I made the screen bigger. Now I was wrong, I just told my brother a couple weeks ago a couple days ago that it needs an iPhone 5S, but it doesn't. Needs an iPhone 5 or later, running the latest version of iOS 8.2. And now I'm gonna see the sizing guide because I'm not sure I can actually get the 42 millimeter one. So the 42. And I'm not a man, I don't know. I think this is for kids. That's a modern buckle. I'm trying to look for the sport band. Most, I mean, let me go to the sport band. Sport band includes two bands, one small and one medium and large. So you can, you, I think it comes with two, that's what it's saying. Okay, so you can have the same type of band, yeah. I'm not sure how much my hand is, how long it is. I'd probably get a small one. A medium large if my dad ever wants to wear it, but he's going to get his own, so. Yeah, no. I'm gonna get, I think it comes with two already. So, 360 view, I want to see the 360 view. That's cool. So it has the this, this, the charger, magnetic charger, and the cool um, magnetic thing. But the screen, the digital thing, and the button. Now the clasp is actually very cool. So you just do like that, and look at clasps. Or whatever you want, when you want. You don't have to mess with everything like a normal watch. But I want to see the watch faces. So you can do this one, depending on what size screen you have. It's pretty nice, but they're going to down, third party developers are going to download a lot more. So, if you have any questions, I'm actually an expert on this. 
you can just comment down below any questions you wish to know. Okay, so that's good. I'm gonna pre-order that later. Okay, I'm gonna buy it when I have enough money because right now I'm saving up for the, I have enough money for the Pebble Time. So I'm gonna buy the Pebble Time. And later on, I'll buy the, um, what is it called? Something. It's, I'm gonna buy the Pebble Time and the MacBook, the new MacBook, and then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna buy the uh, other. Now we're gonna look at the Apple Watch Edition. So it thirty eight. So the base price I believe is ten thousand dollars. It's available in eight models. The Apple Watch Edition. This is basically for rich people. So if you're not rich, don't even think about buying this unless you're wasting all your money. So then the 42mm 18 rose gold with white sport band is 18,000. And if you're in it confused or something, you can change your sport band to something different. You can change it. There's an interlocking thing. And you can change the sport band to the, boy, the band on your watch to a different band if you want to. Um, then there's the Yellow gold, that's also 10,000, 38 millimeters with a black sport band. And then there's also the same thing with a 42 millimeter instead screen, that's 12,000. Now this is something different. This is because it's with a rose gray modern buckle, it comes, it's $17,000. Now I would recommend you get the, the white or black sport band. And then if you're buying this and then later buy this band separately if you're looking for this type of band. No? If you're looking for this type of band. Sorry, it glitched out. Oh my god. See, this is why I need a new Mac. Here we go. So that's 10,000. Oh my god. I'm not selecting this. Oh my god, my Mac is so laggy. Okay. So let's go back to where we were. We were over there. So like I said, you should buy the black one, whatever screen size you want, which is going to cost you $12,000 or $10,000. And then separately, you can buy this type of belt. So I can't click on it because then we'll go to a different screen. Now, there's also a 42, 18 karat yellow gold case with black, classic buckle, that's less. But still, buy the original and then buy the black band separately. Now there's, this is unbelievable. Like this is yellow gold, 38 millimeters, and they're still charging you $70,000 because of the bright red modern buckle. Like seriously. And the midnight blue plastic buckle is 15,000, and that's it. You can always change the band, so you buy, whatever, buy the cheapest one, and then, this is my opinion, I'm not buying one of these because I'm never saving up to $15,000. Um, but what I recommend is for you is to buy the cheapest one and then buy the band separately. Cause it I bet it's going to cost you a lot less. So now let's go to the original Apple Watch, which is a medium, the medium one. But it goes up to one thousand dollars. I saw. And this is available in twenty models instead of eight. So it comes with 38mm stainless steel case with white sport band and then the same one with 42mm instead of a screen. Then it comes with a black sport band instead. Same type of stainless steel and then the same thing with... Yeah. Now this is where it comes becomes a little bit more expensive because of the buckle. But yeah. So 38mm with a black classic buckle. Gonna cost you more. Now, this is something that I actually like, but I would buy this separately too. The Milanese Loop, which is this, 
it's really cool. It's magnetic, so it's even better. So then it goes up to six ninety nine, depending what type of screen you want. And then this is the black modern buckle, so it's gonna cost you a lot more because of this. Look at the mouse. Now this is even cooler. Forty-two millimeter steel stainless steel case with black leather loop. This is actually very cool. It's a magnetic leather loop. Now there's also a blue, bright blue leather loop, which is gonna cost you a lot too. Now let me go to the most expensive one. The steel case link with link bracelet. That's gonna cost you the most because it's two types of stainless steel. And there's even more. $999. Now the most expensive one is the space black case with space black stainless steel link bracelet. But you could not buy it with something different because they don't want you to be buy something cheaper. So if you're planning to buy this space black original Apple Watch, the non the mid price one, you're going in for a big one. $1,049 or $1,099. So I recommend the space black. It looks actually really nice. The only problem is, it's way too expensive and you can't buy it with a different band, so they will cost less. On online, probably in the retail store, they might, might. This is Apple, so they might only. Now, let me go. So I guess we guys are done. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I guess it was very highly informative. informative. So, thank you guys for watching, and um, have a great day. If you're wondering how you're only seeing the screen on this Mac, it's because I'm using QuickTime Player, and you can screen, record your screen, depending, and you can use a microphone if you cannot, but I, I'm using a microphone so you can actually hear me.